Believe it or not, I started racing on a 125. I knew that's all I wanted to do, was race motorbikes for a living. I had big ambitions of racing at you know, World Superbike and MotoGP and all this. And it's not until you actually get further into, you know, you're growing older and doing, getting more experience that you realise how difficult it is to actually, you know, get, even think about getting to that level. My dad was racing when I, when I was born, um, so I, I was brought up in road racing. But in terms of going and watching races, obviously TT's on my doorstep up the road. I live a, a stone's throw away from the circuit. Uh, I'd go and race, you know, watch the TT practices and Joey, to me, was just, I just idolised him. And um, so that's where, you know, I had a real passion firstly for TT and um, you know, I was a massive supporter of Joey. Um, I suppose that's where my, my, my love of TT sort of kicked off from really. And so to fast forward all these years to be able to say I'm, you know, to sit here now today and you now I've been setting off at number one for the last two years at the TT is an incredible feeling. I'd been to watch the Northwest 200 in 2004, stood at the side of the track there. I just thought I've got to do road racing because I was just bitten by it then. And then I thought, you know, I've watched the TT and Max Grand Prix all these years. It's on my doorstep. I want to do it. I want to do TT. And then 2006, I stuck an entry in for the TT and I thought, you know what, while I'm at it, I'll do the Northwest as well. So that's how I got to race the roads. I won the fastest newcomer award, or best newcomer award, I think it was back then. Uh, and there was some good guys. You know, I was I just turned 20 years old. Um, remember the first night of practice, I, it was my birthday. Um, Mum was in tears of just probably out and out joy, but fear as well. You know, I always remember that. Um, you know, watching a little boy go down the road at TT and, you know, with my dad having raced it and stuff and knowing the, the dangers and all that associated with it. Um, but yeah, that year, 2006, I rode for, it was, it was, quite, it was quite a unique um, story really, because we went to the Northwest 200 with my own bike in a, a Mercedes Sprinter that we just, uh, we built like a wooden bunk in it. It was a bare van and uh, I had an R1 Yamaha that we just loaded into the back of it. It was all race ready. Me and my granddad and a friend of mine, and a family friend, Nigel Neal, all piled on the boat, went to the northwest, and my dad flew in to help for the week. He was, he was really busy with work commitments, and he flew in. And it was a real family effort. It was real like nuts and bolts, you know, back to my roots racing, um, back of a van. And um, I was 19 there at the northwest. I did ninth in the Superstock race um, as a newcomer. And then, thanks to that result, I got picked up by Team Racing. And um, we basically put my bike in their colours and they ran me for my first TT in 2006 and it just went like that from there really, it just, it was awesome. The big smash in 2010 was quite a challenging uh, period of my life really, it was, I was just, I think I was 23, yeah 23, um, and my, my TT career was, was starting to blossom a bit. Um, I'd been on the podium the previous year, done 130 lap, and it was starting to real go, you know, go very, very well. Um, and then leading races by 23 seconds, bike breaking down, having that first win in touching distance, um, it was, you know, quite frustrating. And then in the seniors, when I had a big crash and. The rest is history, really. But that, that to get back from that, well, it was a real that was real challenging for me because, you know, physically I'd broken my back, and my leg was completely knackered, dislocated, and had to be rebuilt. My arm was shattered, um, and I just I was in hospital for such a long period of time. It really took its toll on my body, and uh, mentally, it was the that it was always going to be coming back from that was always going to be a physical. Uh, challenge, not a mental thing, because my head was always, you know, I'm always, I've always been a racer in my head, and I always want to do well and do my best and get the best results out of me. Um, 
So I knew it was never going to be a mental thing, it was always going to be a physical thing. And my, my left wrist was asleep. I couldn't, I couldn't do that or stretch my fingers um, because I had, a nerve, I had nerve damage. And uh, it was just stuff like that, it was just mounting up. And that was ultimately what was going to put a stop to my comeback. But thankfully I started to, you know, thanks to my surgeons, my physiotherapist, uh, my family and friends, uh, and, and, and the sponsors, you know. It was a real team effort and it highlighted it was a real team effort that got me back to where, you know, being able to sit here now uh, as, as a back to sort of form road racer. The whole Paget family environment just suits me down to the ground. Um, you know, I've had success in the, in, as you say, the corporate, the corporate driven sort of teams really. I've had good success there, but the overall experience is very, very challenging, um, and it sometimes, it, yeah, it just didn't work um, on some occasions. But with the Padgett's family, it's all, as I say, it's that family environment. The vast majority of the mechanics have all raced. A large percentage of them have raced around a TT course, and they just they just know what they're doing. Um, and that's not to say anything negative about the teams that I've ridden for in the past at all. But I've just got every bit of confidence in every one of them lads who works on them bikes in the, in the Padgett's family. And, you know, Clive himself was a very, very accomplished motorcycle racer. And his experience is just invaluable. Um, and when you're having them challenging moments at a race, it's just that, it's that arm around you. That, that mentality of, you know, right, okay, he needs a bit of, a bit of looking after him. Let's just, if there's a problem, we'll work through it. And whereas opposed to going, actually, you were two, two or three seconds off the pace, what is the problem? You know, he's going, well, how do we work through this? You know, okay. there's a solution. Um, is everything okay? You know, what do we need to do to, to get through that problem? Um, and that's why I feel in the last two seasons, actually, since I started riding for Clive, and the Padgett's team, um, which was 2016. Um, my, I feel like, I, me as a rider, I've just improved. And it's me, I feel better as a rider, I feel faster, I've become more consistent. I've had, yeah, more consistent results since, since riding for them.